Hey, what is up guys? It's Simbucky here. How are you all doing? Welcome to my first ever question and answer or Q&A video. In this series, I'll be answering your questions for me, which can be pretty much anything from video games, to my personal life, to likes and dislikes, and even to me giving you guys advice for anything you guys may want. Pretty much any question you guys have for me. I plan on making this into possibly a monthly series, creating videos once a month to answer all of your questions. If you guys have any questions for me, I will leave my contact info in the description below. All you guys have to do is email me your questions, include it linked to your YouTube channel if you have one. Something interesting that I'm doing with this series that I haven't really seen any other commentator do is that I will be featuring your channel in the video when I get to your questions. This is kind of my own way to giving back and basically reward you guys for asking me questions. Um, and it's also a good way to get your channel out there if you're starting up. Um, if you don't have a channel, that's okay too. I accept pretty much all questions from everyone. Just try not to ask questions that have already been answered for obvious reason. Also, since the commentary for this video is longer than the original gameplay I had planned, I have included random sniper clips for the end of the video. Anyway, without further ado, I will start answering your questions, so let's get this started. The first question is from Luki, and his question is, what are the types of videos we will see from you in the next few months? Wow, you guys you guys kind of started off really good questions. Good job, Luki. Um, well, to answer your question, in the next few months, you guys can expect to see much more commentaries on Call of Duty and other games and stuff like that. I recently purchased a new mic, and I'll be and when I get home from vacation in the next few weeks, um, I'll be making more commentaries for you guys with newer content. I also plan on talking specifically about my view on different topics, such as new games that are going to be released soon, um, the next-gen consoles, and my thoughts about what is going on in the gaming world. So you guys can definitely expect to see those types of videos very soon. As well, I also plan on doing a horror series for my channel, similar to what PewDiePie and WhiteBoy7Street have done on their channels. Um, I'm in the process of purchasing an HD camera for my computer so you guys can see all the live um, reactions and stuff like that when I play all those scary games. Um, at the end of the day, this channel is for you guys. Um, you know, I made this channel for you guys to come watch the types of videos you want to see. So I definitely think that your opinion is worth a lot for this channel. So please let me know if there are any types of videos you guys would like to see from me. Um, but the ones discussed are the main things you guys can expect to see in my channel in the next few months. Thanks for your question, Luki. I really appreciate it. Now, onto the second question, which is from Cool Fusion, aka Minnesota Clan. And his question is, I was wondering if you're going to record and commentate over Call of Duty gameplay. Um, that's a good question. Um, but as I just said, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be uh, making more commentaries on my channel. And most of them will definitely be over Call of Duty gameplay. Mainly Black Ops 2, maybe throw in some um, World at War, Modern Warfare 3 in there as well. But mainly Black Ops 2. Something I did not discuss in the previous question um, is that I'm in the process of creating a tips and tricks series in which I'll talk about some tips uh, for playing certain game types in Black Ops 2. Um, in this series, I'll be featuring game types from Team Deathmatch to Hardpoint, Search and Destroy, and Capture the Flag. Um, my hope for that series is that I can create and share videos that will help other players um, just become much better players in general, just really increase their level go from whatever level they're at right now to a much higher level of playing. Um, so that's really my hope for that series, so that's something that I'll also be doing. And uh, definitely that's going to be um, over a Call of Duty gameplay. So don't worry, I'm uh, definitely planning on recording more Call of Duty gameplays and commentaries very soon. Uh, thanks for your question, Cool Fusion. Um, now on to number three, which is from Happy15551, that's a lot of fives. Um, who has four questions for me. That's nice. So we'll start with the first question, obviously, uh, which asks, what made you interested in joining YouTube and creating videos? That's a great question. Um, there are actually several factors that influenced me to join YouTube, to join the YouTube community. Um, the main factors are the people that were already on YouTube. You know, I've been following PewDiePie and whiteboy 7 Street for a very long time now. And just after seeing the types of videos that they put out, how much fun they're having creating the videos, 
and how much fun their viewers and fan base is having watching those videos, um, I made up my mind to kind of follow in their steps and create a YouTube channel where viewers can come watch the types of videos they want to see, a channel where both the uploader, myself, and the viewers, you guys, just have fun. In the end, if no one is having fun, there's really not much of a point in having the channel, right? So that's what motivates me to create videos and new content, putting stuff out there for you guys that you guys will have fun watching. Now on to your second question, which is, where are you from? Alright, I'm from California. Um, I currently moved to New York City, but I was born in San Francisco. Um, I lived in San Bruno, moved to Laguna Hills, then Sacramento, then San Jose, then Palo Alto. Um, actually in Palo Alto, I was neighbors with Steve Young, uh, who is from the San Francisco 49ers, which is my favorite football team. Um, but then after that I kind of moved back to Laguna Hills. So I've been kind of going all over California, but that's really the main state that I'm from. Um, but now I, uh, I ended up in New York City, which I'm absolutely loving. I have a lot of family there, so that's where I'm at right now. Um, now to your third question, do you plan on doing vlogs in the future? Um, as I discussed in the very first question from Luki, um, vlogs are something that I'm definitely thinking of doing. Um, also, tomorrow I'm going to be going to our cabin in Big Bear Mountain with some friends and family, so I'm thinking about maybe doing a vlog update or two while I'm up there for you guys, so you guys can kind of see what types of vlogs that I do and stuff like that, but ultimately I would have to wait to see how many people are interested in me doing vlogs before I make it an actual thing on my channel. Um, now on to your final question, what is your favorite gamer and gamer girl? That's <laughs> that's an interesting question. Um, my favorite gamer, that's, that's pretty hard. Um, my top three would include PewDiePie, Whiteboy, 7th Street, and Nate Shot. But if I were to pick just one person, um, I guess I'd have to go with the host with the most, Alex, a.k.a. Whiteboy, 7th Street. Um, as I said earlier, it was really his channel that influenced me to join YouTube. And I kind of pride myself on being one of the few members of the PlayStation Nation in which the president is Whiteboy 7th Street. Um, but just in general, he's he's a great gamer. You know, he's very good at Call of Duty. Um, he's a gold medalist. Um, he has amazing content on his channel, which is always expanding, and he's just an amazing person in general. Um, as for the gamer girl, unfortunately, I don't follow too many gamer girls on YouTube. Um, my top three, I guess, would be um, I Justine, Optic Jewel, and Optic Midnight. Um, if I were to pick just one, though, I would probably pick. Um, who would I pick? This is a surprisingly hard question. Um, I guess I would just pick Optic Jewel for one. Um, she's an amazing gamer with a whole lot of skill, and not to mention she's she's in Optic, which is my favorite clan. So. Um, Definitely top two would be White Boy 7 Street for the guys and Optic Jewel for the girls. Um, but thank you so much, Happy, for your great questions. Um, now on to the final question of the video, which is from a player named Azine. Um, his question is, what got you interested in Call of Duty and what is your favorite Call of Duty game? Again, another great question. Um, what got me interested in Call of Duty? Um, hmm. I was interested in these types of games at a young age. I remember playing similar games on my N Nintendo 64. I remember playing GoldenEye, uh, James Bond 007, which was just an amazing game. One of the best Nintendo 64 games out there. And um, I really liked that game, and that kind of uh, pushed me into getting similar games like that. Uh, when I moved to the PlayStation 2, um, I borrowed all of the Medal of Honor games from a friend, which I really enjoyed. Um, and I beat them relatively quick, and then I quickly moved on to Call of Duty, um, and I got hooked into the series, and that later became, and is still, my current um, favorite series for the first-person shooter. Um, as for my favorite Call of Duty game, I would definitely have to go with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. In general, I like Infinity Ward games much more than I like Treyarch games. Um, I'm more suited towards Infinity Ward style. It appeals to me much more than Treyarch style. Which is part of the reason why I have such high hopes for Call of Duty Ghosts, which is coming out in November, a few days before my birthday. Even though it's um, it's a different Infinity War than the one that made COD 4, um, I still think that Ghost is going to be very good. But so far, I think Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, is by far the best Call of Duty game to date. Um, just had so many great things in there. But uh, I guess that does it, guys. That does it for my question and answers.
Um, I would like to personally thank everyone that submitted questions for me. For those that did not submit, or for those that have questions to ask me, um, please feel free to email them to me, um, to the email that's on the screen. Um, and there's also a link to the email in the description as well. Don't forget to include your YouTube channel if you have one so it can be featured in next month's video. If you guys do send questions, please make sure the subject of the email says Q&A or question and answer. Um, something like that so it makes it easier for me to go through and sort them out. Um, but that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to send me questions for next month's episode of my question and answers. If you guys did enjoy, please like, favorite, and subscribe, and please share my YouTube channel with all of your friends. It really helps me grow, and who knows, maybe I'll get to 100 pretty soon. Um, but stay tuned for the giveaway video. Um, I'll be uploading that when I get back from my trip, probably sometime next week. But until then, take it easy, guys. Peace.